So thank you so much for joining us uh, this evening. We are so happy and honored that you all are here. And we know that, you know, spending your time with us, it's, it's a special thing, uh, time these days. So we're so grateful that all of you are joining us today. And I thought I would start off a little bit about uh, myself and why I started this meetup group. And then I will get to introducing our guest, Lynn Feingold, and we will have the opportunity to be inspired by her amazing work. And then we'll end with community engagement, questions and resources. So my name is Carrie Pascarello and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Global Secure Resources. And we are a risk mitigation safety security consulting company. And it's our mission to advance personal safety by providing community awareness and prevention programs to individuals and groups at home, at the workplace, and when traveling. To really simplify global secure resources, I teach you how to stay safe with online safety, active shooter training, workplace violence, travel safety, and much more. And our mission is truly twofold. We focus on preparedness planning and also prevention. And I started this meetup group to truly empower entrepreneurs, to create a space to collaborate and share resources. And today we are really excited to share an empowerment presentation by Lynn Feingold, an incredible woman that is helping others find success in their business. Now she started her own virtual assistant business, specializing in part-time virtual administrative support for small businesses and solopreneurs. Now she takes care of the routine administrative matters so that you can get back to growing your business. And her experience stems from her position as an executive assistant to the CE or CFO at Dunkin' Donuts, where she supported more than 150 members on a special employee and, uh, employment team. Now with her extensive organizational management skills, she is here with us to share best practices on how to create an impactful LinkedIn profile. So today, Lynn will be teaching us optimizing your profile. So with that, let me welcome Lynn. Lynn, welcome and please tell the group a little bit about yourself and get right into your presentation. Okay, great. Well, thanks very much for having me, Carrie. I was so happy that you set this up with me because it's I've met some wonderful people here. Um, my name is Lynn Feingold. I'm a virtual assistant. The name of my company is virtualassistantboston.com. So um, I just uh, was looking around for a job that was a good fit for me and I couldn't seem to find what I was looking for that was going to be challenging and interesting every single day. And I ran into virtual assistant and thought, that's got to be it. So I actually just got my first client back on February 1st. And I'm happy to say they're still with me. And I've added more and more and more clients. So what I do for people is sometimes I organize. Um, I might just be in for a special project and just get something organized for them. I could do a PowerPoint presentation for them. I could be, you know, the person in the background who's contacting people who owe them money. I could be, you know, I'm that office person that um, that a lot of small businesses can't afford to hire someone 20 hours a week or 30 hours a week but they can afford to hire me for five or six hours a week and I can get a lot done. So um, I'm very happy. I've been doing social media posts and um, copywriting. I've written blogs. I wrote an 1800 word blog recently about great gifts for adrenaline pumping gifts for Father's Day for dad. I thought that was a fun one to write. So um, I should get right into my presentation now. I have a lot of information to share with you that I've learned about LinkedIn. So please uh, bring up the presentation. That would be great. Thank you. Okay. So, well, when I started my business earlier this year, I got a SCORE mentor um, who told me, don't spend any money. He said, if possible, you know, go forward, but don't spend any money. So I didn't invest in a big website. And I didn't um, really invest in a LinkedIn business page. <clears throat> I just retrofitted my personal LinkedIn page to my immediate needs, and I'll tell you how I did that. You can go to the next one, please. Oh, she's, there we are. 
so why use LinkedIn for business? Um, LinkedIn helps clients find you. It's invaluable in networking, professional networking. And um, you can get to tell your story and you can signal to the world who you are and promote your business relationships because all of that is important to attract clients and customers. It's a key part of the sales funnel. And here's the sales funnel here, if you're not familiar with that. Wow. What we have is all of these social media sites and they're all feeding in. That's how you're attracting customers who could, or people who could become your customers or your clients. Then you engage with them on the social media platforms. You nurture that relationship by contacting them, having a one on ones, having coffee, sh you know, sending a referral, that type of thing. And then you close with them and actually have an, a new client. So that's um, the sales funnel kind of in a nutshell. And LinkedIn is a very, very important part of that. On the first day that I added virtual assistant to my LinkedIn profile, I got a call. LinkedIn is one of the most powerful and best free tools out there for solopreneurs and small business. The next one, please, Karen. Your profile cover is very important. And as you can see, I'm saying that LinkedIn is your 24 seven live business card. It really is while you're sleeping, it's still open out there for everybody to look at and understand who you are. So you want it to be really polished and professional. So use a professional photo, use a professional name, don't use a nickname or anything like that. Brand your headline. That means under my name, Lynn Feingold, you can see it says virtual assistant, specializing in small in part-time virtual administrative support, blah, blah, blah. You can use 110 characters there and use every single one of them. I think I come to 97. I, I played around with it till I got it just right. But a lot of people just say, you know, Lynn Feingold, virtual assistant, and that's fine, but why not take them, uh, you know, have the advantage of having a little bit about yourself there that will get them interested in what you do and they'll want to read more about you. Don't forget that people search by location. So I've put my location as Greater Boston because again, I'm virtual assistant Boston. I want to have that Boston connection, even though I live in Randolph, Massachusetts. So this first um, one that you can see in the background, that's a selfie that I took. And I thought it was a pretty decent picture of me. So I put it on my LinkedIn profile. And after I attended a class about LinkedIn, I thought, yeah, I've really got to get a professional headshot. So then I upgraded to the professional headshot and you can see the difference. It's a much clearer image. Um, that headshot also has a lot of SEO attached to it. So my, believe me, my um, selfie didn't have anything like that. So this is another way in which I'm advertising myself. It says professional virtual assistant on my, um, on my photograph. The next one, please. And you can see, I decided, oh, I have this great big billboard area behind me. I should make that into an advertisement about myself and not just have it be a pretty sunrise photo in Maine. So I created this um, tagline, bring me your chaos, because I find that a lot of people who are at the breaking point call me for help and they need, they need help because they are overwhelmed by the smallest thing. I think we've all had that happen, haven't we? You know, it, you need to, you know, you need to do something, but something else has to happen first and it just seems overwhelming. Well, by the time that people call me, things have gotten a little bit chaotic at their end. So I created this, um, you know, the storm tossed sea here with this calm image, virtual assistant Boston, bring me your chaos. Next one, please. So something you can do to make yourself look really professional out here is <clears throat> you can create your profile's um, custom URL to share. So by doing this, what you're doing is the URL, if you've ever looked at the top of the page when you've gone to your profile, the URL is just very, very long and it's all random numbers and, and you know, things. And um, this enables you to go up to edit profile and in the top right corner, click on edit your custom URL. 
and you can simplify the link. So I simplified mine, and now it's www.linkedin.com backslash in backslash, and everything after that I typed, because it used to be all just numbers and letters that didn't make any sense. So now it says Lynn Feingold dash virtual assistant. My cat has come to the meeting, excuse me. So this makes the URL a lot cleaner and easier for people to find and remember, and it's easier for Google to find. And again, that's so critical because you want to be visible to your clients, you want to be visible in the searches that they're going to do for you, looking for you on Google. The next one, please. Details, yes, it's all about your visibility and making sure that potential clients can find you. So my about section has a very simple message, really, and it's three parts. I'm asking, what do you mean to do every week, but you don't get to it, give it to me. So a call for action, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, how's it going? Is it awful? Give something to me. And then I explain about who I am and why I'm good, would be good at this and handling your chaos. Now, what do you need to get done and how could I help? So a lot of people make the mistake of having the about section be very long and no one wants to read a term paper about your life. No one wants to read anything more than about this. This is about 100 words. So you need to make sure it's, it's brief, but it has lots of terminology in it that people will be searching for because they might look for, someone um, might look for executive administrative, someone might look for organizational management, or they're looking for customer service, client relationships, diverse audiences. This is something they might use as they are searching for someone and they will find me. So it's been very interesting because I've been getting a lot of um, people contacting me about my writing. And I wasn't sure why that was happening, um, but I think that you'll see in a minute why that's been happening. The next one, please. Thank you. It's important because LinkedIn is a social um, space to go out there and click on things, say that you like something, um, share a comment, um, share an interesting story that you read. Maybe you read something that is fascinating to you about your industry, and then you share it and you say, wow, here's someone who's doing it right. Good for you, so-and-so. And then people will like that and they'll also share it if it's interesting enough. So you can see that I've shown my activity panel here. I've chosen to show that to people who are looking at my LinkedIn because what that does, what that does is, could you mute, please? Thank you. What that does is it shows people the interactions that I'm having on LinkedIn. And then here's another section here where you can see that I have my writing and design portfolio. And the writing and design portfolio is specifically um, a 15 page um, PowerPoint that has examples of my writing and my design work. Now, this is saving me a lot of time and a lot of energy because a lot of people who are looking for someone who has a writing and design portfolio, they find me and they know I, they know I do writing. And then they can look at all of my samples, they can read my story on LinkedIn, and they can decide if they want to contact me for their um, needs. Now, this is another story, this little house here. This is a little house across the street from my house. And I had a great experience recently where um, I looked over and I saw that he needed his lawn mowed. And I thought, well, I'm not doing anything today and I have a lawnmower, so I'm going to go over there and look, mow his lawn for him. And it's a very small lawn, as you can see. It took me all of 10 minutes. So after that, I said to him, you know, this was easy for me to do and I will mow your lawn again. And I'll just keep mowing it all summer. When I mow my lawn, I'll mow your lawn. And he was so happy because he's in his 90s and he can't mow the lawn anymore. So I made a story up about this and put it on LinkedIn and said, you know, this is what happened. I, I'm working from home now and I saw that this is going on in my neighborhood and I thought I could help. And I went over and mowed his lawn. And now we have an agreement that I'll mow his lawn all summer. And no amount of money that he could have paid me would have made me feel as good as I do right now. And then I turned the story and said, what could you do for someone right now? 
what small thing could you do for someone to help someone? And this uh, post got like 5,700 views and I don't know, over 300 likes or something. It was very exciting every day. There would be more and more comments on it. And it was just lovely to see so many people inspired by this story. And there were a lot of really nice comments, which was great. Next one, please. So this is it. Show up on LinkedIn and tell your story. I think it's so important to have a good story to tell. And um, where I could do that was under experience. Now, usually I would be having I very dry. I do this, 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 and it's a bullet, you know, one bullet point after another. But instead of doing that, I chose to tell a story. One day it just clicked for me that I was doing all this volunteer work and oh, I'm really volunteering for organizational management. I should be doing this for a living because I'm doing it for fun. So then at the bottom of my experience, you can see I have three little boxes. Those are links. You can put links in your experience to anything, but mine go to my portfolio and to my menu of services and to my Calendly, which is my free scheduler. And that way, someone will read this statement about my experience as a virtual assistant. They will look at my portfolio that shows them my work. They will read the menu of services, and then they can take the action of making an appointment with me to talk with me about how I might be able to help them. So to me, that's critical to have those links in there. I didn't even know that LinkedIn could do that until really recently. And I was so excited to hear about that because I thought, oh, that is, that's a great idea. Next one, please. Oh, talking about yourself is not bragging. It's not bragging. It's okay. If you're smart, that's fine. And let the world know that you're smart. So this is, um, this is the skills and endorsements uh, section. And what I love about this is that you can not only talk about your accomplishments and express that, but also people who visit your profile will be asked um, a question. What do you think of um, you know, Lynn's ability to do this, that, or the other thing? And they vote for one of those. So you can see on the left-hand side of the screen that I've been endorsed by 37 people for event planning. And I think that's marvelous because I do love to plan events. And 22 of those people were my former colleagues at Duncan Brands. I've been endorsed for team building by 32 people and customer service by 24 people. So that's fantastic. To get someone else to say that you're good at something has so much more value than you saying, I'm good at this, I'm good at this. It's much, much better to have somebody else shine that light on you. But you can also, under industry, under industry knowledge, under skills and endorsements, where it says add a new skill, you can choose up to 50 skills to list there. Now, there are whole lists of these out on Google, um, best 50 um, uh, skills and endorsements for LinkedIn. Just look up that list and choose your top 50. And I went back and forth on some of these but I wanted to people to know that I do writing and event management and project planning. These are all the things that I felt people might be looking for, clients might be looking for. So I might as well highlight that I do that. Then when LinkedIn, when someone opens my profile and it's someone who is connected with me already and might know me personally, it actually says, would you, would you please um, mute? Excuse me, could you please mute? So it actually says that, um, you know, what is she good at? And they can click on something. The next screen, please. LinkedIn learning, I think, is um, a wonderful way to put some great information about yourself out into LinkedIn. So you can get it for free for 30 days and take some classes. Now, some of the classes are just lectures and you just listen to the lecture. And then at the end, if you've listened to the whole thing and you haven't sped through it or skipped ahead or whatever, they will give you a little um, you know, online certificate that you can then choose to put on your profile. And you can see that I chose to put confronting racism 
and diversity, inclusion, and belonging on mine because I want people to know that those are important things to me. So I want people to see that when they come to my, uh, to my LinkedIn. But there are a lot of other classes there. And after the 30 days was up, I felt as though it would have such a value for me to have the insight that having a professional LinkedIn account would give me. So I pay $29.99 a month and I can take unlimited classes um, and get unlimited certifications in these things. And it's really wonderful. Now, as I said, some of them are lectures, but some of them are lectures, but then have um, intermittent question and answer, you know, sessions. So just be aware of that, that you might take a lecture or you might take one that requires you to answer a question. But then you'll have that on your profile. Next, please. So <laughs> recommendations and project work. Um, it's important to get recommendations. As I said, it counts so much more for someone to um, look at your profile and see that someone else has said that you do a good job at something. That's really important. So I have someone that I worked with who gave a beautiful glowing review, and that's out here. Also, though, another way in which I reflected the type of work that I'm capable of, I'm a grant writer. So I want people to know that as well. So I have put a couple of grants here, and when you click on this project button, the blue button, you go to a lot more detail about these two projects. And so you can kind of go as in-depth in this as you really want to and learn about what I, what I did and what my role was and how successful I was at getting money for, um, from a grant program. Just think of it, you know, always think of what you're putting on LinkedIn with the eye of your client you want your presence on LinkedIn to be professional and polished. You want to come across, you know, really, really well, because this isn't a place to have um, conversations that are kind of like should be held maybe, you know, at a cocktail hour or something, but not on LinkedIn. It's really professional. Next, please. Oh, this is a good thing. Um, you, as you go into LinkedIn and you find um, sites that you want to follow, um, you can see all, some of them that I have followed. Now you can choose to not have LinkedIn show this. I chose to show it because I want people who are looking at my profile to understand that much more about me uh, because they can see what I'm interested in and what I'm following. So I don't have a lot of people here, but I'm following organizations and things I care about. There are tons of resources on YouTube. YouTube has so many videos about how to get started with LinkedIn, LinkedIn for beginners. Um, and you can ask it anything. You know, you can type in LinkedIn, how do I do whatever on LinkedIn? And it will have 20,000 videos for you. So, uh, you know, be adventurous and go and look up some of those videos and listen to them while you are, um, you know, uh, sometimes I'll turn one on when I'm driving in the car and I'll just, put the phone over on the seat and listen as I drive or I'll, you know, be cooking dinner and I will turn it on in the background and I'm listening for something that I don't know. And you can get a lot of learning done that way. Next, please. And that's the end. So thank you very much for coming to this presentation. And uh, you can see that I have my LinkedIn here. Uh, I have Facebook and I also have virtualassistantboston.com. So I actually developed my Google, uh, my Google My Business page, and um, then Google asked me, did I want to create a free web page? And I said, yes. So I created a free website, and it's just a one-page landing page. It's basically my presence out there um, with my telephone number, my email, my portfolio of uh, design and writing, um, my list of services, and that type of thing so that there's something that people can find when they're looking for me. And it's important to keep yourself visible, keep yourself visible. And that's it. Uh, are there any questions anybody has? That was an amazing presentation. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you all that great information and I, I we will get to uh questions for from the group but what i was really amazed at is first of all three points first 
you have seven times the likelihood of people clicking on your LinkedIn if you're using pictures. The second thing that I found really amazing was you can edit your um, URL code, which is really a phenomenal tip that you just gave us. And also I always talk about my three P's, which is proactive, prepared, and protected. And you have personalized, professional, and polished your three P's, which all of us can benefit from. So I am truly grateful for all these pieces of um, uh, tips that you've shared with us. But you oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Carrie. Thanks for having me. This has been great. Yes. Um, Let's get to um, some questions from everybody in the audience. Oh, Eileen has a question. Um, how has your LinkedIn page evolved over time? So that's interesting because um, as, as I've been in LinkedIn for probably, I want to say 15 years now, probably, um, of course, it, it, I would go in and update it and make changes as I, you know, uh, went along in my career. And every time I would change my job, I would go into LinkedIn. But I was only going into LinkedIn every time I changed my job, every two years or something. But what's changed for me is how I interact now with LinkedIn. I use it to connect with people and to make sure that I follow them and, um, and keep an eye on what they're doing. Because if sudden, suddenly Esther started doing something and I'm talking with a client and I know, oh gosh, I just saw Esther does that. I just saw that on LinkedIn. And that's this is so important because that this is the modern era of networking. It's not, you know, all done in networking meetings and networking breakfasts anymore. It's done a lot online. I meet with a lot of people every week and um, I go to networking sessions and I've I chat them and I send them my link to LinkedIn and say, let's link in. I always say that at a networking session. You'll always know I'm there because I'm like, let's link in. And then people link in with me and then they send me a message saying it was nice to meet you. And I always refer to the event where I met them because I meet so many people. So I say, it was great to meet you this morning at the New England blah, blah, blah. Because then I know on that date, I met that person at that event and it's in my messages and I know. So that's a really handy um, tip that I have for you. The, um, then, you know, following up with people and making sure that you can have a one-on-one -on -one with them. And that's very easy with my little Calendly, you know, um, schedule, or I can pop that right into the chat or into a LinkedIn message. Just choose a time, please go right ahead. So I think that I used to have a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of information on there that was related to my business life, but now, it's much more a representation of who I really am because it lists some of the volunteer work that I've done for 20, 25 years. So that, Eileen, is a big difference. I now count my volunteer work just as heavily as my work that I've been paid for because it's experience, isn't it? And it all adds up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. That's Anybody great. else? Yeah. We have some more questions. I guess not. I answered all their questions. Well, I have to tell you, these were really great strategies to optimize your LinkedIn profile. And I think what it comes down to is intention, right? Intention is the key to change. So if you want a better profile and you're ready to accelerate and activate a change, I hope you guys took notes and um, you'll get right on it as soon as we're finished with this, this meetup. <laughs> you can change your picture and change your URL and all those great tips. So I just wanna you know, thank the group for, for being here and participating with us. But I think, thank I think if there's no, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I just wanted to say thank you, uh, Lynn and Carrie. I thought this was really helpful. Um, oh, I've good. been to sessions before, but I thought this was excellent a lot of things i hadn't heard before so really valuable thank you yeah thank you thank you i, I second I, that it was I, very valuable yeah that's <laughs> awesome i do want to say one thing though before we all go is i always love the community engagement portion and this is where we each get two minutes in the hot seat and i want to ask each of you what you're up to what you're doing right now uh, where you are on this entrepreneurial path that you're on or what business are you focused on? And then I want you each to end with a fun fact about yourself. So I'm just going to ask for the volunteer for the first person who wants to go first. 
I'll go. I'll volunteer. Go, <laughs> oh, Esther. Um, so my name is Esther Spitalnik, and I I like to say that I'm a recovering attorney turned life coach, and I help my clients get the results that they want in their lives by helping them to change their mindset, um, change your thoughts, change your life. And I'm in a point in my business right now where um, I really am just meeting people, growing my business. Um, it's all about referrals. So for me, it's it's talking to as many people, connecting with as many people. Um, learning about them so that at some point we can connect, um, hopefully as a client coach basis. Uh, let's see, fun fact about me. Um, oh my goodness, this is totally, uh, <laughs> uh, I, hit one of, I hit one of my life goals to go to Fiji. By the time I was, I don't know, I think it was like 20, 21. So I always wanted to go to Fiji. I hit my life, goal, one of my life goals to go to Fiji. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. We'll have to talk more about Fiji. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. So let's, let's see who's going next. Is that Glenn? Can we have Glenn tell us a little bit about, about yourself? Uh, sure. Uh, my name is Glenn Morrissey. I wish I was a little bit more professionally attired for today. I thought it would be a little bit more audio. Uh, but I, I am the owner of a medical billing company called Coastal Revenue Cycle Management. And I'm looking to build my uh, client base, which consists of uh, independent practice physicians, um, group size of one to 10, that bill on an outpatient basis. So um, I had the foresight to launch my, launch my business in the uh, midst of a global pandemic. <laughs> uh, last April, and I'm encouraged by things opening up right now, and uh, really trying to get some exposure, you know, online. Um, I have had a website for a year or so, and um, it's, it's a. I feel like I have a door and it's locked, mm -hmm. and I just need to this company not to be a secret and to open the door, and at least people like either like what I do or not like what they do, but at least make a decision on it. And I'm just not getting the visibility that I'm looking for. And Lynn, you did an outstanding job, a lot of good tips there. Thank you. Um, I appreciate that. And um, um, a fun fact about me is um, I never attempted synchronized swimming. You you what? I never attempted sy synchronized swimming. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bad joke. It's a very bad joke. I, I'm trying to keep it light at seven o'clock at night. <laughs> that was great. Well, Glenn, definitely <laughs> connect with me through Meetup, and I'd like to hear more about your business, and perhaps we can collaborate on something. So uh, definitely Excellent. reach out about Excellent. that. Excellent. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. So, okay, who's next? Who wants to go next? No. P perfect. Let's let's hear a little bit about you. All right. Um, my name's Anthony. Um, I'm a computer science. I just made, I just, I'm a computer science major. I just graduated with an associate's um this past may um and i'm just working on like getting my resume and my cover letters and everything um all set up so i can apply to jobs um and then i was told that i should also like update my linkedin which i haven't done anything with um I was, i've been working on it but i didn't know exactly what kind of things i should add to it um so that was really helpful what you were going over um, I have like a lot of activities that I was just like writing about, but I didn't know exactly what, um, how I was going to add each, um, each of my, everything that I was doing or that I had done. Um, and so that, that, that was all really helpful. Um, and I'll be finishing up my, um, my profile soon. Um, and the fun facts. Um, no, um, I guess, uh, okay, a year off between college, our high school and college. Yeah. Oh, amazing. That's yeah. nice. And yeah, exactly. And what did you do with your year? 
I was working and just trying to like, like get a couple things like figured out. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, I tell you, you can go ahead and connect with me through Meetup. And um, if you end up having your URL, we can check it out and see what we think about your LinkedIn and, and add some more tips for you if you like. So we're really excited for you. Congratulations on graduation. That is really, really amazing. Yeah, right, in a pandemic year. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> especially this last year. Congratulations. Yeah. And we're, we're so happy that you joined us tonight because you know these are these tips that all of us need to be sharing. And this is why I love doing these meetups is to collaborate with others, be able to share these awesome tips so that we can excel and do better in this world. So thank you so much for sharing. Now, Eileen, um, can you go next? We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, um, so I think, let me see, I'm in kind of reinventing myself after being in uh, university and in the classroom in K through 12, but my main skills are instructional design and curriculum development and uh, also web, web design and illustration. And actually one of the challenges I have is I do so many things. It's just kind of narrowing my focus. I um, started a maker space when my daughter was in middle school. So I'm, the curriculum I'm developing is for practical electronics. So it's a foundation of electronic skills. So I do a lot of workshops with hands-on, you know, like for instance, I'm gonna do one in Santa Fe in, in next month on uh, building a, a windmill, a little, a little um, you know, uh, what do you call it? The, pinwheel pinwheel with a uh, circuit electronic circuits in it so i can see a whole business opportunity there team building i think we don't have enough in organizations opportunities to collaborate to work together and i think those are skills that are really seriously missing so that that's another kind of so i'm um but anyway so i'm in in the process of consult just wrapped up a consulting project and starting a, a new one but developing my website building my linkedin profile and um you know probably taking looking at four directions i'll go in and then see see where it goes <laughs> and what, well what, this was so timely for so many of you it's just been great mm. mm -hmm. yeah now let's hear your fun fact oh fun fact i got into bird watching over um like a lot of people over covid and uh, it's so much fun you know going on bird walks i joined actually the brookline bird watching group which is phenomenal and it's just amazing to go to you know the different cemeteries in, in greater boston and environments and, and start observing birds and knowing their calls it's, it's made um just walking around uh and visiting green spaces a lot more interesting oh that's fantastic that's a great fun fact nothing like bird watching during covid right <laughs> And so I'm so happy we all got to participate in this because this is a really great public speaking exercise for all of us, right? One of the things that I also do on the side is Toastmasters. So I think it's really great when we can, you know, expand on our speaking skills because that's what it's all about is this interaction with one another. And um, I know for myself before I used to be very shy and didn't really like speaking in public. So I've really pushed myself out there. So this is, this is, this is really always a fun exercise for me. Um, and so I have to say thank you so much to everybody for sharing. And I will say without a doubt, collaboration is truly the key. It's so important to get to know one another so that we know um, each other's business so that we can share and be able to grow our businesses and even start new businesses. And that's what collaboration is all about. So I'm just so happy that we had this opportunity to hear from Lynn and uh, see exactly what she's she's working on and, and her fabulous resources. So please, everybody, you know, connect with me through Meetup. I want to hear more about your uh, project too, Aline. And, uh, you know, I always like to offer my meetup group as a place to collaborate and share your business ideas with our with our group so anybody wants to connect with me that's fantastic um so i think right now we can even talk about uh some resources we have just a few more minutes left and i thought i would ask anybody in the group if they have a special resource that they'd like to share with the group and if not i have a few any 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 resources okay well i'm going to start with one it's my very 
favorite uh, free education resource, and that is edX. Do you guys know about edX? Um, yeah, I start. Help, I was one of the first tires for edX, so I know that really well. It was just purchased today by another company, but hmm. yeah. But um, actually, yeah. So anyway. Well, then instead of me sharing about edX and all the phenomenal things that I've learned through edX, why don't you just say a quick minute or two about the the amazing resource that edX is? Well, edX is a is a great resource. I've, I've taken a number of courses there. If you have the bandwidth, because it's a very intensive commitment, you know, usually 20, 25 hours a week, and you can take a deep dive into subjects that would be taught at universities like you know harvard columbia um carnegie mellon etc so that's great i actually also take courses from coursera have done for credentials so edx is more like you can get a, a um a credential from um edx and that can build for graduate school it's more of an academic orientation to see if you're really interested in a topic where coursera is more skill building for the professional world you know you can just take a course for a month like it, it's great for coding classes so yeah i i love it i've taken numerous class, classes they have language classes they have i i took a particular one it was a uh, uh, terrorism and counterterrorism. uh sebastian gorka was uh one of the instructors it was amazing through georgetown but it's a ph phenomenal resource for anybody that wants to expand their education. Uh, you know, if you want to dive into coding, you want to dive into the language, you want to dive into some particular course. Are, it, the, are, are the courses um, are the courses free or, pay, or paid? Yep. No, all free. And then, of course, if you get a certificate, you have to pay. But but the the majority of the courses are all just free and available. So this is really remarkable. I love free resources like that. Um, I would say the only, the, there was another resource that I really like. It's called Hello Alice. Have you guys heard about this? It's a community um, based program uh, that allows people to collaborate and connect uh, while you're building your business. And so what I will do right now is add this resource to our to our chat. Here we go. And I find it. Um, here we go. Return. Um, it's wonderful. So they have a community uh, um, group message that you can go on and post different um, activities that you're doing. You can find free um, webinars and uh, free resources uh, within the community. But also, if you're building a business, you're looking for funding and some other you know realms that you might be interested in, it's an excellent resource. So I hope you guys all go and check out Hello Alice. And I think with that, I am going to say thank you so much to Lynn for thank you. presenting um, this amazing uh, program for all of us. We all learned so much and we're truly grateful for you, your beautiful smile and everything that you taught us today. And I will say one more thing. And it really goes back to one of the things that Lynn talked about today. And that was how she went out and helped her neighbor went out she mowed the lawn for a neighbor that was in need and i think that just brings it right back to all of us what can we do today to make this world a better place and i am so grateful that you did this and that you shared that with all of us because it truly is an inspiration for all of us to do better in this world and to you know go thank and help you. others so thank you so much lynn well thank you so much carrie for having me and thank you everyone for coming tonight I wish you well and uh, good luck with your uh, with your uh, job searches and everything else you've got going on. Yes. Thank you again, Carrie. Everybody.